So I wanted to go over uh, a thing with you guys as to why would you get an enclosure for your 3D printer and why is it something important to get? And uh, so, you know, <clears throat> what, I, what we actually get is we get a lot of beginners that come to us and are wondering, you know, how can they get um, a healthier print environment? How can they get a cleaner uh, workspace? And then also, how can they get a better 3D printing like experience or like how can they get a better 3D printed parts? And, you know, actually the enclosure actually helps with all three of those. So, uh, you know, as far as having a healthier print environment, it, obviously as, the, as we 3D print, um, the enclosure will help keep anything, any particulate that happens from 3D printing inside. And so, you know, as, uh, as, a, as we 3D print certain materials, that we can get some smells and we can get some, uh, like, small particulate dust from the 3D printing filament in and of itself. And I'm not saying it's necessarily super harmful, but you certainly would probably prefer to keep it inside the enclosure than have it float throughout the room. So that's how you can actually get a healthier print environment. Now, uh, as far as like having like a nicer, cleaner uh, print area, these enclosures are awesome because it is a nice, clean, neat cabinet that is a set over design and will sit right on top of the table. And uh, <clears throat> in it, as far as looking at adding to the look and fit and finish of your 3D printing area, I think an enclosure actually works really, really nice. Uh, you know, this is a basic design for this one. And on top of this, you can throw on some cheap, inexpensive LED lighting uh, up on the top and uh, to, get some, to get some more lighting in there. If you did any mods to your 3D printer, or a lot of the times they will fit in there really nice. If you have any questions as to if your mod will fit inside of the enclosure, just give us a shout and we're happy to help out. So the last part is, is how can you get a better 3D printing results out of a out of an enclosure so here's a couple of things to keep in mind it kind of depends on what you're printing what filaments you're printing with and what you're looking to do so a the biggest and best thing about the enclosure is that it is keeping the inside dust free and so that's going to make it so that your printer will last longer it'll make it so that the lubrication on any rails will last longer and the, that will inevitably make it so that your 3D printer will print better for longer. So the next part also, though, is getting a better print environment. So a lot of the times you actually want to have a little bit of heat inside of your enclosure to get improved prints. Now, one exception typically would be with PLA. And PLA, you just kind of want to have a neutral temperature. And so a little bit of playing around. You might find that you can bring down your bed temp a little bit, or you may even actually just keep the door cracked just a little bit to keep things cool on the inside. We also offer um, fans or exhaust fans on the back. Let me show you on one of our other printers here. This is a uh, filtered exhaust fan on this uh, printer right here. So this will actually exhaust heat. So if you're a PLA printer, this is actually a really nice add-on to add onto your 3D uh, printer enclosure. In this particular uh, 3D printer enclosure, we have a recirculating fan. And so this one actually recirculates the air uh, and it filters with a HEPA and a charcoal filter to reduce uh, particulate inside. And then it also the charcoal helps to reduce fumes and smells that uh, occur from 3D printing. So this is actually, this one actually is better if you're trying to keep heat inside the enclosure with more of a advanced filament. So if you're printing with ABS, ASA, um, and other, print, uh, other filaments that are typically stinky, then actually that is great because it keeps the heat inside the enclosure for a better print and less warping. And then uh, the enclosure will keep uh, the, a more stable printing environment. Uh, say if you're printing with PETG, then it happens to be kind of like right in between. You can have your door open if you are finding that you need more crisp corners and lines, um, or if you're finding uh, some excessive stringing that you can't quite control, 
through retraction, or you can keep it closed. And uh, in a, a lot of the times, PETG will help. Uh, will be a little bit stronger if it is printed inside of a warm uh, chamber temperature. Uh, with TPU, typically you can keep things closed, and so the in the end, this enclosure, enclosing your 3D printer, is a great option to make sure that you get a better printing environment both for yourself and your 3D printer. So if you're not familiar with Clearview Plastic, we've actually built uh, a wide variety of enclosures for uh, a lot of different types of printers. And uh, even if you have a printer that we don't cover, uh, we've got uh, a few options of universal enclosures that are sure to fit your 3D printer as well. So we've been doing this for a while now. We're, 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 we've built enclosures for a wide variety of both individuals, businesses, and institutions, from your usual hobby, hobbyist to colleges like MIT, University of California, um, and, and then also even like aerospace companies, uh, and tech companies as well. So uh, if you want to see more information, come check us out over at clearviewplastic.com. That's clearviewplasticissingular.com and see some of the enclosures that we make. We uh, have it all set up so that you can really spec out your build so that you can see it, you can get the function that you need at the budget that you want. So we really do our best to make these things as awesome as possible. So I hope to see you there. Peace.